What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel about subliminal messages in our culture. Today, we're going to take a look at this artist called Tommy Genesis. Tommy Genesis is a very popular artist. Uh, she makes very good sounding music that's very catchy. And honestly, I like some of her songs. I'm not going to lie. I think some of her songs sound really good. They're fun to dance to, have a good vibe when you just want to party and hang out. But as I listen to her music, I'm like, man, some of these messages are really dark, you know, like they're just coming from a dark place, very base and um, about the bottom three chakras. The bottom three chakras are about survival first. Second one is reproduction, a.k.a. sex. And the third is power. And those three are completely dominating um, music and things like this that we hear all the time. Tommy Genesis makes what I call Illuminati rap, which is based around those three chakras and constantly speaking to those three chakras about survival, a.k.a. death, really, to be honest with you. It's death, sex, and power. So let's, take, let's check out Tommy Genesis' take on uh, God is Wild. <laughs> Huge following. The music is dope, I'm not gonna lie. People ask me why, why Tommy? Check this out. You're about to see another Illuminati rapper, Tommy Genesis, talk about how she has two personalities, one psychotic side, and then the normal her, right? She's she has like this alter ego that she consciously and intentionally lets come out habitually. Her body is basically like an Airbnb. When I say Tommy and Genesis, Tommy's the one on stage. Tommy's the one that's going insane. Is she psycho? She probably is. She's she's fucking psychotic. We don't know. Tommy's crazy. You don't know what Tommy would do. But Genesis is the human. It's me. It's the one when the fourth wall comes down and I'm there with you and I'm there at the merch booth with you. That's me. I'm I'm genuinely present. But um. I think that Genesis would not have a career without Tommy. I know I sound like... Think of the message, right? Genesis wouldn't have a career unless she was letting this alter personality come out and ride her body and get to spend time in the physical world, basically. It's what she's consciously saying. And again, you see her throw to symbology all the time in her music videos, in her merch, all over the place, right? It's definitely demonology, right? Let's not dress it up. Voice in their head that's the good voice and the bad voice and i just gave the bad voice a tour you know and then every now and then the good voice just pops out tommy gave the bad voice a tour i bet you did how are we so it's funny when people take their jobs so seriously like i could never work nine to five i could never work anywhere like that because i would never take the job seriously i was never meant to to just fall into society. They never really created a slot for me. I'm this whole notion of, um, you see how she says, like she's she was never meant to fall into society. She can't take a regular job seriously and stuff like that. The world is not meant for her. That's, that's an assertion that's usually used by a lot of people who use satanic philosophies to gain power and influence in the world. They believe that you know, as she mentioned before, their instincts are natural and that um, their desires don't fit in society. And um, once they start to gain supernatural powers, which are very real, by the way, once they start to gain supernatural powers, they don't feel like they deserve to live the common life because they're not common. They don't believe that they're following the pack. And we already see Tommy kind of confirming this with the Baphomet symbology before. And the name, uh, what is it, prototype, angel, demon, or something like that? Angel, devil, or something? You know, definitely wholesome messages, right? Kind of like the weird glitch. Tommy makes a form of music, as I previously discussed, that I call Illuminati rap. It's about the bottom three chakras all the time, which is death, translating them to how they apply to your instincts. It's death sex and power the top four are always ignored which start at love and go up 
listen to the lyrics you're about to hear. And obviously I can't play all this content for copyright reasons, but listen to the lyrics you're about to hear and look at the ages of the girls who are singing these lyrics. Do they look, can you say they even look 18? Just listen to the lyrics. You know, Tommy's aware that this is her fan base. She's definitely not sending any message about restraint for the people who are very young, right? Check this out. What? And these these are youngsters are putting on this video that she's putting in this documentary. Part of everything for me is the way it resonates with my fans. And I don't care if my fans are one or one hundred. You don't care if your fans are one or one hundred? You just talked about fucking all night and, and getting high and shit. You're okay with a one year old listening to that type of shit? And this is what I mean, you know, this is the type of Illuminati rap that I talk about and I'm going to continue to talk about that's all around us. I talk about the base three chakras only. They don't talk about the upper ascension. They use the upper ascension to tune that stuff out. That's what you're supposed to use it for. But they want you to just exist down there in that low energy. And you can be of any spiritual philosophy that you like. I respect your point of view and this is my point of view. The chakra system is very real to the human body. And the entertainers and performers and a lot of um, high-ranking people all around us know the same thing, too. And they use it for things that I certainly don't agree with. You know, it's designed for your enlightenment, but some people use it for their own devices. And here's another video from Tommy Genesis. This one shows her all horny and stuff locked up in a cage, which is a common thing. Definitely seen before and we'll definitely see again. See that? That's human trafficking symbology. Yo, here goes another song that Tommy Genesis has. This song, honestly, is fire, bro. It's called Execute My Vision. Dope song. But then I watched it again, and I'm like, yo, look at the symbol, though. Peep this. Execute My Vision. I'm just Execute My Vision. Now peep this. They chose this image when she's talking about executing her vision. Look at her hands, right? They're covering her eyes, but look at her thumbs are forming horns on her head. See that? Executing her vision. Look at the symbols you're seeing about vision here and the horns. Yo, this video blew my mind, yo. Tommy Genesis execute, aka executing my vision. She admits that she is in the Illuminati, man. Watch with her own words, peep it. What do you say after that? It's a new world order and you ain't fucking with my family. I told you these people are Illuminati rappers, man. And I was saying she was an Illuminati rapper before I heard her say it with her own mouth. I just found this out right now. That being said, back to the main video. Anyway, that's it for this episode. You should go and check out her documentary if you want to learn more. Or just Google her name. You can find a billion songs by her here or on YouTube. Very, very popular artist. Hope you guys have a good one. Stay blessed. Peace.